well, children, where there's so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think twixt the Negroes of the South and the women of the North all talking about rights, the white men is going to be in a fix pretty soon. What's this here talking all about? That man over there, he says that women need to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helped me into a carriage over mud puddles and given me any best place. Ain't I a woman? Look at me. My arms, look at my arm. I have plowed and planted gathered into bonds. No man could head me. Ain't I a woman? I could work as much, eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lash as well. Ain't I a woman? I born 13 children, seen most sold off into slavery. When I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. Ain't I a woman? What's this thing they talking about in the head? what they call it. Oh, intellect, that's it. What has that got to do with women's rights and Negro rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint, yours holds a quart. Wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my half measure full? That little man in the black, he says, women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did Christ come from? God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. If the first woman that God ever made was strong enough to turn this world upside down all alone, then these women together ought to be able to turn it back right side up again. And now, they are asking to do it. The men better let them. Blige to you for listening. And now, 
old soul journey don't have nothing more to say. Some things to know about Sojourner Truth. In 1797, Sojourner Truth was born in the Dutch-speaking county of Ulster in New York State to slave parents, and she was named Isabella Bomfrey. In 1806, at the age of nine, she was bought as an auction and then was later sold two more times before she was 13 years old, increasing her misery and the harsh life she experienced as a young female slave. She did stay with her last slave owner from the age of 13 until she was 30. She was raised speaking Dutch and didn't speak English until she was an adult. In 1817, she was married off to an older slave man named Thomas, and she had five children. In 1826, she walked away from her last owner. John Dumont, with her infant daughter Sophia in hand because her slave owner had refused to grant her the freedom he had promised her. This is known as her walk to freedom. In 1827, after the New York anti-slavery law was passed, she became the first black woman to sue a white man and win. This resulted from her last owner illegally selling her five-year-old son, Peter, out of state. In 1828, she went to New York City to live with her two youngest children supporting herself through domestic employment, working for a local minister. Around 1843, after her conversion to Christianity, she then took the name of Sojourner Truth and became a charismatic speaker, preacher, preaching the word of God, even though she never learned to read or write. She always said she could hear and hear well. And from her hearing, her new life emerged. After her name change, Sojourner Truth began her mission as an abolitionist a women's rights advocate, and also as a preacher of the Word of God and traveling to many and varied places. As an abolitionist and a women's rights advocate, she met and was recognized by other famous abolitionists such as William Lloyd Garrison, Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, Harriet Beecher Stowe, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Susan B. Anthony, and many, many more. In 1850, she dictated what became her autobiography the narrative of Sojourner Truth, and she was able to support herself financially throughout her lifetime on the sale of her book, as well as speaking engagements. 
1851, she was invited to the Women's Rights Convention in Akron, Ohio, where she delivered her now famous Ain't I a Woman speech. Her speech had been transcribed by different reporters and historically the speech entitled Ain't I a Woman is the one that is most recognized. In 1864, her activism for the abolitionist movement and the recruitment of black slaves for the Union Army gained the attention of President Abraham Lincoln, who invited her to the White House to speak out about her efforts. In 1867, Sojourner Truth moved to Battle Creek, Michigan, where her daughters lived. She continued to speak out against discrimination and in favor of women's rights. Throughout her lifetime, Sojourner Truth delivered many famous speeches and was recognized for many of her quotes. One of them being, children who made your skin white. Was it not God who made mine black? Was it not the same God? Doesn't God love colored children as well as white children? And did not the same Savior die to save the one as well as the other? Another of her quotes, religion without humanity is very poor human stuff. On November 26, 1883, Sojourner Truth died at her home in Battle Creek, Michigan. She left a legacy of words and songs, and her funeral was attended by many civic and outstanding persons, as well as community persons. More than a thousand persons attended her funeral, making it one of the largest funerals ever held in Battle Creek, Michigan. Sojourner Truth's indomitable spirit lives on and continues to be an inspiration to others. Sojourner Truth continues to be my inspiration.